Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters Encounters video. I thought I would mix this one in here while I'm continuing to do your mysteries and oddity suggestions. This one has to do with yet another fan favorite when it comes to the world of crawlers. Who knew that there's a lot of fans out there when it comes to this particular cryptid? It's definitely gaining its own mini popularity. Who knows, it may just one day be an all-star, more than all lines of like Chupacabra and Bigfoot and so on. This one is yet another creepy encounter, one that comes from the reddit.com website. They're from the subreddit called Crawler Sightings, and it comes from a user by the name of Sailing Cartoonist. They named theirs as Possible Crawler Sighting in Memphis, Tennessee area around 2018. So let's go ahead and let's share that encounter here. Maybe those of you that are within the Memphis, Tennessee area, maybe you might have some more local experience. Let me know if it truly is some kind of ground zero for crawlers. So here's what that user states. I haven't recently shared this story outside of a few friends, but after finding this sub from the Reddit Cryptids subreddit, I figured I'd post this to see if anyone can help me identify just what the hell I saw. It was early October 2018, and we had just moved to the area almost a year ago. It's a small house, a one-off there in a cul-de-sac. The closest thing to civilization is a church across the street, and everything else is roads, neighborhoods, or woods. There's a healthy amount of trees in between the neighborhoods, giving a nice sense of privacy. Out of all the eight or so houses on this street, only our house had access to the woods surrounding the area. My mother was ecstatic about the house as she always enjoyed the woods. I always got a creepy feeling from them, but figured it was just my anxiety. At the time, I was grounded due to some poor grades, which left me bored most of the time. I figured that since I had seen a ton of deer through our back window, I'd go exploring a little bit and see if there was anything interesting. The woods aren't terribly dense directly behind us, but definitely got a lot more so if you went further in. I explored a while, finding a few deer bones and skulls. They even had the antlers attached. I thought it was really cool. I found the whole car, albeit missing the wheels and the guts, and then a whole lot of trash. I got an old plastic container and started collecting the things I found interesting and kept it in the back of the old car. I did this for about a week, gathering about three skulls, a handful of bones, some glass bottles, and then a few other things I couldn't remember at the moment. Over the weekend, I didn't end up going out as it was stormy. So the following week, I want to say Wednesday, after the ground dried up, I ventured back out. I went to the car to refresh my memory on how many things I had collected, and lo and behold, the deer skulls and the bones were gone. I was confused and assumed some animal might have picked them up and then trotted off with them, so I went about looking around for them or some new things to collect. As I looked around, I noticed that the antlers of a deer skull were deeper in the woods. Now, I don't normally go back there, especially since it's technically part of our neighbor's property, but I figured I could just pop over and then grab them. As I picked up the skull, I noticed a bone a few feet away sticking out of the leaves. I figured I might as well grab it too, so I picked it up. As I picked it up, I quickly realized it had a bit of blood and sinew on it, which was alarming to say the least. I quickly dropped it, wiped my hands on my jeans, and then walked away, leaving what I assumed to be a buzzard's meal alone. As I approached the car, skull in hand, I noticed something moving in the trees a little beyond it. I froze, assuming it's an animal, not one to spook whatever it is. And so I scanned the area and saw what I now could call a crawler a little past the car with its eyes trained on me. It had near white skin, skinny to the point I swear I could see its ribs. It was naked, hunched over, almost full black eyes, the whole nine yards. As soon as I made that eye contact with it, it runs off before I could really react. After that, I went inside and I honestly don't go into the woods back there anymore. Not to mention someone bought the extra property back there and decided to build a house there. That critter is probably their problem now. Recently, after seeing a string of similar encounters, including this one that my father directed me to, it reminded me of this incident and I figured I would investigate it just a little more. I couldn't find anything on the cryptids subreddit besides someone telling me that it's fake. 
For context, we lived in this house since 2017, and while I've heard the odd animal noise, I haven't seen any evidence of this thing since. Along with this, I haven't gone anywhere near that old car since, let alone the woods themselves. I've only heard of the odd encounter from some of the farm folks I talked to and from online posts from the surrounding area slash trees. I haven't witnessed much else that would be considered supernatural or unnatural, and I don't really automatically believe anything talking about supernatural things unless there's evidence, but this seems at least somewhat solid. Overall, I don't know what to think about all this. What do y'all think? And then that's it. That's pretty much everything that the user sailing cartoonist mentioned in their story. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that here. As you can see, uh, some pretty notable stuff that encountered that this person encountered with uh, their brief moment with that uh, crawler, if it truly was a crawler, which I believe it was as well. First off, um, I, when I was hearing the descriptions of that house, I got to say I was a little jelly. That's the kind of house that I would love to have. Something that is basically in the corner area of whatever neighborhood, away from others, away from people. As they stated, the closest civilization was some church, and even then that was across the street. Get me farther away, but still at least close enough to be able to have access to everything I need. And the fact that it was hugging those woods, hell yes, that's the kind of stuff that I love as well. Imagine when you open up your backyard and there you have just some very tall, beautiful looking woods just standing out there as far as the eye can see. That's my kind of house. And so here they had this guy, well, I think it was a kid at the time, how he in turn was grounded. Talk about another weird situation, right? He was grounded. But his punishment was he got to explore those woods. I mean, what kind of punishment is that? That seems like fun. And so there he was going out there, collecting his little knickknacks, bones, skulls, and so on, stored them within that car. How did that car get there? And then when that happens and he came back a week later, they were gone. So clearly something was potentially, I'm thinking, uh, watching him from the moment that he was back there collecting those artifacts. They saw where he put it. And then when he left, they in turn decided to go uh, pilfer it. So, pilfer it. So here you have a situation where it was creepily in the background the whole time watching this user. And then it decided to go there and then do some other stuff. And it could explain why those deer bones and skulls were there in the first place. Because when that user came back and they saw that there was something there with a little blood and also some sinewy stuff that explains that it could have been the crawler that caused the death of these things. Luckily though, for the user, when they spotted the actual crawler staring back at them, it didn't attack him. And then most importantly, it just ran away right at that moment. Um, otherwise, this thing could have easily caused some kind of damage it was a little freaky, too, to read that this user was trotting out there in the middle of the forest. Uh, one can get really, really lost, especially if it's going towards nighttime, unless they somehow, you know, put breadcrumbs, the equivalent of breadcrumbs, and then they know exactly where they're going to return to. So imagine if they're lost out there with that actual crawler. But that crawler ran away. And then ever since then, the user stated that there's a new neighbor that built a house somewhere out there. Uh, talk about a freaky experience, too, for them. Them, and then they'll be able to see essentially what this user saw sometime later on. But that's pretty much it. What about those of you in the Memphis, Tennessee area? Any of you out there, especially in the foresty type areas, is this crawler central? Is it truly something involving a ground zero for crawlers? Let me know in the comments below. All right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.